a happy weekend to you too, my darling. I'm trying to tell if the sound's right. The sound seems a little... You know? It seems a little, a little, a little, a little... Mmm, analog-y. Let me, let me test it. Let's, let's watch the trailer for the game we're going to play today. Or accidentally start the game, like a numpty. Ah, <laughs> dear. Hi! Hi. How in the name of... Oh. No, that sounds good. That sounds much better. Okay. How in the name of Bumble Scratch are we doing? I None of your comments seem to be showing up on my uh, display. This is weird. Why is this happening? Oh, let's try some of it. Right. None of my pop-ups. What's going on? That's really weird. There we go. Oh, some of them are showing up. Can you see it? Like, some of them are there. Hang on, have they all... Have they all gone to the sunken place? What's going on? What the feck is going on? Do Streamlabs need a judge? This is weird. Can you see? It's just like... None of the usuals are popping up on screen. Oh, wait, hang on. No, they are... Oh, that's weird. The graphics are on your screen, but... Oh, that's weird. They they weren't on my software, and now they are. Hi, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know what Chubby on TikTok is. Uh, that one works as Chewy. Um, don't worry about not being on. I've, I've, thank you for the hosts, by the way. The hosts are being chucked in. Uh, add it. Don't worry about not being on. I've only streamed once this week. I streamed on Thursday, so you haven't missed anything. Do I ever know what's happening? That's very true. Um. Uh, Yonky Smonky Tonky. Red's here. Hello, beautiful. Uh, it's the magic roundabout. <laughs> it does sound a bit like... Are you TikTok famous? No. I know you know I'm not TikTok famous, so I don't know why you'd ask that. Um, oh, excuse me. I'm barely TikTok uh, user-friendly. So, sorry, let me make sure that all my gubbins is in the right place. Oh, madam. And then we'll be able to start. How the fuck are we all today? How are we all doing? Talk to me. Ooey, ooey. Hello, hello, Avon. Welcome aboard. We're going to start shortly. I just literally am rolling. Um, my, my teats are rolling up like an excitable dough mixture. I am delighted. Nay. Uh, forced to sniff you all. <laughs> what? Come on, say. Lucy's all right. She's good. She's uh, she's downstairs at the moment. She's playing some Assassin's Creed. She's watching some trash TV on YouTube. She's having a good old time. Two-ish minute delay, George. Really? Let me see if it's on my end at all. So if I'll do that, then I can see on the stream me doing that. Oh yes, it's only delayed by about the usual two, three seconds for me. Reload that shit, George. Give it a try. Lou's dad's okay. He's good. Came out of his up yesterday, so he's uh, he's back in the land of the uh, of the, <laughs> of the of the misery of the rest of us. Oh, Jord, nay. Well, Jord, I'm afraid you're just gonna have to operate on a, a different time to the rest of us. You're gonna have to be in a in a void via the void. Um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Started watching all the James Bond movies. Favorites, everyone. Well, uh. <laughs> Quadruple Shevin. Um, I'm not a huge Bond fan. Like I've I've got them all because I enjoy them, but I'm not like a I'm like a Bond Bondophile. But I like Skyfall a lot. Uh, I think um, Casino Royale is very good. I really like Honor Majesty's Secret Service, as does Dead Cat. I love Honor Majesty's Secret Service, um, and I enjoy uh, Live and Let Die because it's just mad, isn't it? Let's be honest. Let's be honest, banging tune as well. Um, <laughs> I 
little bit of Lazenby. Every, everyone skips over George, but he's pretty great. We can hear... Well, we can't hear you. We can see you, George. Just waiting for a second wave. I, see, the second wave thing's bullshit in my eyes, because uh, it's just the first one. We never went down to a rate of complete decline. It just went a little quieter. And now it's going back up. We'll all be dead before December. Anyway. Shall we? He says with ice in his tumbler. And Patrick to his side. Shall we bastard well leap into this game? Because we've been doing storyline stuff, but I go away week after next to Whitby, and we are going to be live. Uh, I'm here next week, but I'll only be on on Tuesday. Um, because I'm working in, in studios on Monday, Wednesday, and on Thursday we're preparing to go away on Friday. But the week after we're in Whitby, we're taking a staycation by basically just staying in a cottage in Whitby. And going into Whitby for a few hours during the day. There's like two days where we're going to go just a tiny bit further and then come back. And uh, even during that staycation, uh, I will be on the Discord. So subscribers, we will still be chatting every bloody day. I will be keeping you posted on what's going on. I'm going to show you some dog walking. That sounds wrong. Because it is. Um, oh my god, chocolate. Oh, hi. I think I'm in love. Uh, and then... Um, I will be doing some just chatting streams while we are away in Whitby. So, there will still be something on here on Twitch. We will still be broadcasting. Chatting at you in your faces. So, that should be a laugh, shouldn't it? <laughs> I believe so. Also... By the time I'm back, it will be October. Which means, spoopy season. We're going to be playing some scary games next month. I know we've held off on here because it's not everyone's cup of tea. So we're going to be doing a mix. We're going to be playing some, um, you know, meant to be scary, but let's face it, it's aged a bit kind of games. We're going to be playing some purposefully kiddie spooky games. Like stuff that's not really that scary at all, but is very much in the Halloween spirit. And we're going to play a few f freaking, like... I might shit myself kind of games because I'm not huge on horror games I enjoy horror games as a, as a viewer playing them Ooh. but we're going we're gonna to dip back into Alien Isolation at least once we'll be playing a lot of Dead by Daylight because Emma kindly donated Dead by Daylight to my collection so we will be busting into that in fact on the sale in the next few days I might get a few uh few of the, uh, the the packs that are available because uh, the ones that uh, the one that comes on the copy of the game she bought me is Stranger Things but there's like the Saw one I might get because uh, I do loves me some Saw and uh, we're also probably going to dip in at least once to at least one Resident Evil game why is that significant? because I started to play number 2 on the PS1 when I was a child and it scared me so bad about an hour in that I've never gone back to one. So we're going to try one in October. I will obviously signpost the streams where we're playing some real spoopy, real spoopy stuff in the titles. So if you want to avoid the really scary stuff, fair enough. But uh, other than that, spoopy times. So who's here? How the feck are we? And can I see those oms as we crack into a brand new game that I've never played before, but I've been curious about for a little while. Roundabout. What's it about? I don't fucking know. Here we go. Roundabout. Mm. Oh, some full motion video going on though, so that's different. It's very classic style. No goblin. Also, as usual, as usual, let me know if the game volume needs to be up or down. Uh, we've done Ghostbusters 2. We completed it earlier this year. <laughs> There's no point going back and playing it again. Oh, we're also going to try and do some Amazon watch parties uh, in the next few weeks as well. While I figure it out. Might attempt one tonight for a laugh, but I don't know. We'll see. Thanks, George. <laughs> oh. Hmm. 
I have no idea what's happening, but I'm enjoying it. Okay. What's with the skeleton? What is happening? This feels like the title sequence to something. <laughs> Let's crack in. So this is Roundabout. Let's get into those tasty tasty settings. You should play this while going around a roundabout. Add it! Do you want me to die? I'm very confused. I'm gonna put the subtitles on for my sake. I don't know if you'll be able to see them because I've not checked the display. That's all turned right up. What is this? No violence mode, big head mode, awesomeness detection, permadeath. But you know what? We're not going to touch any of these things. It's the first time. Ooh. Well, let's find out, Curtis. Here we go. Roundabout. Ah, the city of Roundabout. The big twist. Can you hear it okay? The city that always spins. If you can drive through here, you can drive through anywhere. Now, you might notice that things are a little peculiar around here. Well, that's because this is roundabout. Everyone does things different around here. But I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> what is happening? Why is it happening? Hi there, uh, Gio Riggio Manus. Meet Giorgio Manus, the world's first revolving limousine driver. Great. Well, I'll be the instructor for your limousine operator's test, so just keep things straight and quick, and this will be over ASAP. Hmm. If only our pal here could see inside Giorgio's head. See. There's He's using the script. Way this chauffeur drives. He's using the script. I love how low and budget this with is. A twist. What the hell? Giorgio never stopped revolving. As a kid, Giorgio learned to move with the spin instead of fighting it. What the hell? Oh, shoot! Mm-hmm. People with small obstacles. Nothing could stop Giorgio from twisting and turning. Oh my god, I love the well, fact the narration is like... For buildings, lampposts, you know, things taller than a limousine. But, but against everything else, unstoppable. <laughs> oh my god. So I guess I have to move with the revolve to... Stop here at the DMV gate. Oh my goodness. Okay, we, we did it. No, there's one more. Well, I guess you passed, barely. Here's your driving report. You'll get one of these after every ride. Enjoy the thrilling world that is the luxury transportation industry, I guess. <laughs> okay. Okay. Press the R1 button at the end of a ride to bring up your report card. Lucky numbers! We have lucky numbers! With a limo license, the world was Giorgio's oyster. Passengers everywhere would experience a true revolution in transportation. Okay, but I am... At what cost? I am charmed as hell. Hey kid, the name's Mickey. Mickey the Mechanic. I've never seen anyone drive like you just did at the DMV. Can you show me some more? I need a ride to my shop down the Hang on. Has anyone ever seen a Neil Breen movie? Or anything along those lines? Just like your low budget independent filmmaker online. Who like casts their mates and stuff in the game. Because I think this is the vibe these guys are going for on purpose. Like this is absolutely just the devs and friends of the people making the game. In a, in a room. Like going, oh, do you know what, um, Kevin? Do you, do you want to play the mechanic? And I love it. This literally feels like a bunch of mates have made a game, and and enjoy the kind of the naff. Like, I'd say more so than the room, more fun than the room. I mean, I love the room. Do not get me wrong. But the room is like trying to be high art, whereas I feel this is. 
they, they know that this isn't high art and that they can kind of just have fun making it look a bit shit. I'm digging this vibe. I'm really enjoying it. Do the spin on the little spinny thing. Do the spin on the little spinny thing. And ooh, oh, we can't go up there. Well, Giorgio's dead. The room is old. It's really not old. Like 2003. Add it. Are you like two? This Everything's old. Thing is even to you. better from the inside. Ah, so it's about using the trajectory of the turn to move at the right time. Oh, hold the square button to upgrade my ability. Ah. This, this is the future of transportation. What the hell is going on? Oh, right. So I'm using the, using the arc. Wow, kid. Have you ever thought of going pro? Lift the turn. I love Look, that she's a If you ever want to take on the city, just come back to me. Hell, I'll even help you out with parts. You and me, kid, we could go all the way. Okay, okay, you just met me, it's a little weird. But kid, seriously, think about it. I'll be right here at the garage. This is great. Hi, driver? I'm sorry, my car is stuck at the stupid mechanics and my kid is late for school. Can you give her a ride there? Thanks. <laughs> Communicating silently was Giorgio's bread and butter. With just a quick look at the stare on that adorable munchkin, Giorgio knew they needed to make a detour. He's in the chair, let's go pick him up. Over there. Yay! <laughs> Alas, all good things must come to an end. Giorgio needed to get these pint sized pals to school. We just blew up the children. How? Oh my god, how the hell did you get around? Uh, I guess we need to wait till the car's just at a turn. Just like that way. Ooh, okay, there's actually. Because in case you haven't figured it out, the car is constantly revolving and we can't do anything about that. Not again. Not again. Let's take the bike truck to school. How the hell? Let's just skip to that one. So that's me putting on the upgrade, which is the sort of the slowing down time thing. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, so we can use that to our advantage. Did you hear that? Please be more careful. What is happening? I think I'm in love. This is so dumb. I love it. Pick up the coach. I'm heading to the school's baseball field. It's the same guy. Oh, it's you. Yeah, uh -huh. so I teach both driving and baseball. You want to make a big deal about it? Those kids aren't going to base those balls themselves. Let's go, <laughs> Giorgio. Might have just realized, at it, that we're all going to die one day. Because things are easier when you know that, to be honest. 
Yeah, I know. The school spends all this money on learning and buildings, but they can't even put a baseball stadium on campus. Priorities, am I right? We keep killing everybody. You've not uploaded the INL and I show TBC episodes. Of course I haven't. Why would I have uploaded them? I'm a bit confused as to why that's a Worse surprise. Than I, thought. I don't know if what they're doing even counts as baseball. Okay, kids. Stock footage. Listen up. Hey, listen up. I don't know what you're doing here. But in this town, we play baseball. You see this chauffeur here? <laughs> Even Giorgio can play better baseball than you. Show him. Wait, what? Giorgio had never used a limousine as a baseball bat before. But there's a first time for everything. Home run! All right, kids, see? That's how you do it. Now get out there and give me ten laps. Come on, move, move, move! Hmm. Take coach's ball challenge. Sure. Giorgio, the school's demanding that I teach soccer now. Apparently this isn't America anymore. <laughs> you seem like someone who knows what soccer is. <laughs> Can you show these kids how to bounce a soccer ball or whatever it is that you do in your sport? Sure, let's play the challenge. And my friend Richard B. Brooks has done nine bounces according to this, so. Damn it. Searing beat Richards. No! Ah, oh, that wasn't too bad. Return to world. <laughs> that was so weird. Right. What's home? <clears throat> Quarter toss plaza. I guess we could buy something. Oh my god, we're buying property! Uh, Pick up date guy. Picking up my date down the road. Well, uh, I mean, we're seeing a movie after, but, well, she's just meeting me. Oh gosh. <laughs> I love... The fact that every time she turns around, every time Giorgio turns around, it's the exact same animation every time. It's the exact same every time. Oh no! What if she's allergic to flowers? Damn it, Steve! You ruined everything. <laughs> Yeah, Peter Serafinich was in fit. He reprised his role as Brian Butterfield. Which uh, we talk about on Out of the Broom Cupboard episode 10. The, the episode called Team Chris and Hacker. We talk about when we tried to get him in Prez uh, as Brian Butterfield. Let's let's go, driver. I was 13 in 2004. 2004. So... Uh... You like movies? Yeah, movies are okay. Do you like movies? No. Yeah, I love movies. What about you? Uh. <laughs> no, I couldn't have been in Big Cook, Little Cook. I, I'm very confused. Whenever you bring up my age, you always seem to think that I'm like 50. Um, why play GTA when you can play this? Exactly. Well, no, I still love GTA a lot, but this is awesome. <laughs> this is such a fun, weird game. Thanks. I love it. So, 
Do I pay you now or later? Or do I Oh Thanks, Giorgio. Ah. Wait, <laughs> you got a limo to drive us to the driving theater? Damn it, Steve! I love how he keeps having to go himself. Giorgio was beginning to get the hang of this whole limousine for hire thing. A little did Giorgio know that a curveball was about to land in the back seat. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Are you, you're Giorgio? Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm running a little behind. You see, a Julia's Hi. wedding this is, is at 11, it's not mad. 1. So we it's need like to Neil Breen Let's made go, a video Giorgio. game. No, but in a, like, they've done it on purpose. It's it's so cheesy. It's like everyone in it is clearly just like somebody who works in the office playing one of the roles. It's funny. It's really good. Um... <laughs> that username is terrifying. Welcome aboard, Scram. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh... Ah, uh, mustn't die on the trees. <laughs> Died on the trees. Oh, I see we get double points for taking the awkward uh, routes like that one. Smash. <laughs> oh dear. That is a very good question, Scran. It, the whole kind of vibe of it is is this like the the, the limousine rotates all the time. Did you come up with this? You could call it Giorgio's turnover cop. Wait, no. How about falling Giorgio's spinning limousine? Well, I kind of even when we blow up, we still talk. <laughs> Like, we can still continue our conversation. Just because we exploded. Oh you are just the bee's knees. Thank you so much. Hey, so... I'm only in town for a little bit, but I could sure use a groovy driver like you to show me around. And hey, having someone in uniform take me for a spin around town would be a pretty groovy bonus, right? <laughs> she was smiling. Okay, that's gonna be a thing, isn't it? Dale, hello. Nil worries about my sweet to you. I've not missed too much. It's not particularly story heavy. It's just a bizarre game. Um, where do we need to go? Where the hell do we need to go? Let's head this way. Oh, there's a challenge. <laughs> oh dear. Pick up the priest. Oh, bless you, my child. We appear to have something of a problem. Same animation every time. I, I love it. I'm joining two people in holy matrimony, but we appear to be missing the groom. We must fetch him post haste. Love it. I love that it's just like, yeah, it's got to be. Oh, I'm gonna have to look up the one. scenes. It's got to just be like. disreputable from the start. It's got to just be like people in the studio and their mates playing the roles. The bride is such a peach. She could definitely do a lot better. Oh my god. I think I see oh. him. We're all dragon man. <laughs> what? I think it might be the mechanic guy. I'm not sure. We got him. Head back to the church. And we exploded. Church on time. Church on time. Well, thank you, my son. This hungover wreck will marry the lovely Julia, and it's all thanks to us. What is going on? <laughs> no, no, I can't do this. New plan, Giorgio. I drop this wreck off in front of the church, and you drop me off at the bus stop up north. Sound reasonable? I also love the fact oh, that they didn't... give me that judgmental stare. They didn't buy Would a dog collar for the costume. It's just like a hanky tucked into his collar. <laughs> Well, I had Love a good it. run, I reckon. So the priest is abandoning his church because he doesn't feel right marrying the lovely Julia to this wretch. That's brilliant. Excuse me, folks. 
Oh, I want to try and get that other coin. Is done. <laughs> Lord, forgive me for abandoning my flock. Uh, good luck to you, Giorgio. Well, I suppose it's time to move again. I hear the mountains are lovely this time of year. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. Ronaldo. Hello, Giorgio. No, no. I will not be riding with you today. I am, how you say, watching from afar. What? I have heard stories about a new driver with a certain je ne sais quoi. Care to show me your magics? Wait, so there's a guy now testing us? Spinning? Where did you come up with such a novel idea? Well, we didn't come up with the... Oh, uh -huh. God. But how do you change direction? Oh, so oh. Clever, so if we hit the blue tires, we bounce and change our direction. That's new. <laughs> oh dear. The cartoon gore in this is hilarious. I'm gonna say it now. Still a better game than Avengers 2020. Oh, so there's a hidden mechanic. If we hit the blue tires, we can spin the other way. Hello, Minnie. Oh. A revolving chauffeur. Of course, it is brilliant. I'll be a celebrity. My gift to you, Giorgio, is that when I take over the world as the best revolving limousine driver, I will crush your precious limousine last. Solo. I'm sorry. There's a supervillain plot in this game. What? What is happening? And can we order ten of them, please? I just lose a tire. Giorgio was beginning to get the hang of this whole limousine for hire thing. Little did Giorgio know that a curveball was about to land in the. Wait, is it the same mission? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, watch where you're going. Oh, it's the same mission. Oh, okay, you see, you can replay others. I guess like we have to find her in a different part of town to update their story. I like that they compensate for the lack of destruction of property by the limousine getting absolutely destroyed. It's right here, right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we'd already played that one. So you can replay missions. Okay. You're assuming this game will end with an arrest. I don't know. The town seemed weirdly fine with this as a practice. I mean, she's just been hired to be the limousine driver. Uh. Well, now we know why the game's called Roundabout. So, now I've already picked up Mickey the Mechanic. Let's find a mission we've not done. Oh, hey, Boo. Where are you? Where, sorry? Oh, could you come here a sec? Uh, population control. Oh god, yeah. This is whole some giant scheme just to decrease the surplus population. It's warm today, isn't it? Where about where you guys are? It's toasty here. Where to find this game? Um, I can't remember if I got this in on sale or if it was a PS Plus title a few months ago. I honestly can't remember. But I'd seen a trailer for it before, and I was like, that looks like a laugh. I would like to play that. Um... So yeah, I think I think it might be I think PS Plus might have worked out. 
Oh, we have one new mission based on that mini map. That seems to be the star down in the bottom corner. Um, I love you. That's what I'd say. Are you warm? It's very warm in here. It's toasty. Sunny for Haven 7777. Two plums is still in bed. Hey, if you're comfy. If you're cosy, then stay cosy. Hi. Fan of your work. How are you doing? You're chewing my face. You chewed my face. Now you must be my face. You killed my accountant. <laughs> now you must be my accountant. Oh. Oh. I tried to give her a kiss. We love Lou, says chat. Del says we love you. We love Lou, and there's a shitload of kisses. Did you just go. Oh, you went yay. <laughs> well, she went, Burr. like, ah, fair enough. That's a new catchphrase. Burr. So I need to get to the other side of town for a new mission. It's going to be dangerous. I mean, my limo's already on fire, so... Let's go to the... There we go. Hang on. Change upgrade. Oh! Hey, third tech guy. Hi, dip. So we only have one power at the moment, which is the total one, which where the world slows down ever so slightly. Which is good for the really tricky turns. Oh god. I'm not trying to hurt any of you. But you're all standing weirdly close to the limo. Oh god. Everyone move! <laughs> oh, what's happened to that? Did, have I accidentally... Oh no, there's just a series of spinning cars in this area. What is happening? Charles Maximilian. Charles Maximilian for Giorgio Manos, please hold. Hello there, my chatty chauffeur. I have a task that needs attending to in my suburban getaway. I do it myself, but I'm stuck in the city attending these blasted meetings. If you could pop by and take care of a few things, everyone here at Maximilian Enterprises would be most grateful. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of the... Is that a pile of cash? Ugh, hey, flowers are all wrong. I want a solid gold. That mustard. Sorry people, I'm trying to collect flying gold coins. Wait, are those neighbors? Wait! In my yard? This will not stand. No Wait, we can we can take the cash? Hi. I did not realize you could take the cash. Oh, crash like that. Oh, good lord, that was grisly. What is non-millionaire's treasure? Their mailbox. Good. Take care of those mailboxes for me. Oh dear. There's a big pile of cash there and I want it. I'm freelance, this is how I get money now. Damn! There you dad! 
Hey, don't worry about it. I've only been on once this week. Well, I was only I was only on Thursday, so don't worry about a thing. It's good to see you. Do, 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 do. So anyway, next week, I'm only really going to be on Tuesday during the week because of work. There are the mailboxes. Landlock for sale. Sure, I'll buy it. Someone just said something about Jimmy Carter? Bye. Hey, care. I mean, run. Oh, oh. Oh, you're already on, don't you? Get ya. I have a suspicion there's something over here. It just seems too convenient. Uh. Does it cover my limo in vinegar? I don't know. Does it give it an extra shine? Watch your step, limousine. Brilliant. That is a line of dialogue in a game. I love it. Fantastic, my revolving friend. If you were ever in the city of Roundabout, stop by my bed. <laughs> No worries, my darling. I'm not sure what I'm playing this evening, um, but uh, I'll hopefully see you there. Stay safe. Rest your eyes. Wash your damn hands. We love you. I'll see you in a bit. Uh, I have no idea what the hell I need to do next. Do I need to find a new mission? Uh, oh, there's one to the sooth. For sooth. Oh, God damn it. Hear me. Yeah. Damn fancy <laughs> oh! Hey you! Beth again. I'm so glad you called. So, where are we going on our date? Okay, okay. No pressure. How about we just start <laughs> off simple? How about we go to the mall? It's just down the road. I heard it's the second biggest mall in town. It even has a food court. So she's a mall rat. Oh, uh, we're getting other cars. I love how the death toll is just a, a, an accepted part of Roundabout. How so strange. Sorry, I see we've got a bunch of what's it going on. Pronounce that. I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. It has got crazy taxi vibes, you're right. Um, that's like the longest named Welsh village, isn't it? I can't pronounce that for the life of me. Um, damn that crazy limousine. <laughs> Thank you for the cheer at it. Thanks for redeeming a message, two plums. Damn that crazy limousine. Coming down here, killing all my <laughs> customers. So, what's that shop up there? Mr. Boris, liquor, butcher, TV repair. Oh my god. Janelle. No, he is not at it. So, tell me about Ooh, I've said before that opinion is subjective, and that's completely true, but that is uh, it's a fact that he is indeed not. Oh, good god. Now, Mr. Boris, the yeah, roundabout uh, liquor, butcher, and TV repair shop salesman. They sound kind of cool. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. Oof. I 
love this place. Ducks, trees. <sighs> I feel like I can really be myself here. Thanks so much, Giorgio. You're... You're real special. Call me soon, okay? This is pretty adorable and weird. I love it. Pick up Ranger Stacy. Oh my okay. goodness, you've come at just the right time. Shh. Look, it's an incredibly rare straight lurping hover eagle. <laughs> Nobody's seen it in 50 years. <laughs> Quick, we need to tag it before something bad happens. <laughs> oh, that eagle. The eagle, although it's an eagle here, but it was just like a bloody a chaffinch in the stock footage. That is amazing. My god, look at that majesty. What a noble creature. It's the Roundabout Endangered Bird Hunting Committee. We've got to stop them. I love how sometimes they superimpose a background into it, and sometimes they don't. They don't. I just love it. Oh god, I love this. This game is so stupid and daft. I love it. So we literally have to kill the Bird Hunting Committee. Okay. That was I think weird. That does it. Wow, look at that beautiful bird. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Giorgio. The <gasps> Parks Department and Nature thanks you. Thanks. That was so wonderfully dumb. I love it. How have we gone up by like 2,000 ranks in the last couple of missions? I guess there are people who have just not really completed the game. Can we buy any other? Oh. Nah, I'm happy with the limo as it is for now. Oh man, not again. Oh god, who's this? Pick up the Swedish tourist! Hello there, driver? Please do take me to the soccer Chris. Yes, yes, you've got it! Let us go, Georgie! I think this game's pretty great. <laughs> I'm having a good time with this game. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I love, I love the the horns going down and the different, the different note and key. Soccer Gris. Oh god. Was that like a nuclear power plant we just went through? Hey, hey, this is still not right. Were you playing a joke at me, Georgie? Soccer Gris. Boom, boom. Oh, shite. Oh good lord. Oh good god. Sweet baby Jesus.
Ow. Thanks to you, Georgie. What is happening? What's the soccer gris? What's the soccer gris? What is that? What is this location? <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, hey. new date. <clears throat> I'm glad you could pick me up. Could you give me a ride to the bus depot? Same turnaround animation every time. Mm, Love it. Giorgio. I know. It's hard for me to go home too. But we can have this one last ride together. At least for now. Oh. Let's go, Giorgio. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm just trying to avoid the red cars. I'm not even going in the right direction. Jeez. Man, remember that time we were at the park? And that duck? <laughs> Good times, Giorgio. Okay, there's a little bit more strategy coming into this come now. Visit for a weekend. Uh, I hear they even have a new revolving guy, just like you. Well, he's French Canadian, but hey, you can't have everything, right? <laughs> I didn't mean to get in your way, limousine. Yeah, just here at the depot. Oh, good lord. We did the explodings. It's it's hard to decipher sometimes, like in the the quick decision moment, which surfaces are breakable around you and which aren't. Like which ones are a fence and which ones are a, a wall. You know. You could come with me and move to the city. I mean, I'm sure you'd do swell in the big city, and I'd... Well, it's kind of selfish, but... I'd really just like to have you all to myself, all the time. Yeah. If you ever change your mind, give me a call. I'll be waiting, at least for a while. And then I'm gonna find another limousine driver to get with. Okay. Um, what's this one over here? Oh, Mickey the mechanic. Yeah, you're a sight for sore eyes. Does this mean what I think it means? Fantastic. Well, kid, I think it's time we moved on to some bigger fish. Let me show you the way into the city. There's a bigger map. Yeah, I get dizzy all the time playing this damn thing. Okay. So it's buying the quarter toss plaza. So the most elaborate GTA. You're gonna um, love the city, kid. Fast streets, fat businessman wallets. I'm telling you, it's easy. Uh, uh, I can't even think of how words work anymore. Oh my god, there's a car driving around that roundabout trying to scupper me and me chances. Good god. I'm so sorry, limousine. I didn't mean to get in your way. I'm just a humble bystander. Oh, yeah. The highway construction. Kid, it's time to break some rules. Ready to take your driving to another level? Oh, shoot. 
we jump now. They jump now. They jump now. Nice work. <sighs> now, this last step is all up to you. Just drive through that tunnel to Roundabout City. Once you get through, come meet up with me. We'll take on this town together. Damn. Should we finish off some of the missions that are here first? We probably should, shouldn't we? There's a few things still to do here. When do we get wings? Good question. So what's this one? The Great Hunt ah, Challenge. It's splendiferous, my dear turning pal. <laughs> this area is perfect for Maximilian Development's next project. Do be a friend and find a good place to break ground, would you? Okay, find hidden areas before time runs out. Oh. constitutes a hidden area. What's a hidden area? Zero. <laughs> hey, Reese. That's not going to happen in a million years, my friend. Uh, hmm. Okay, so these are all individual challenges. Let's head to the big city. I want to carry on some of the story stuff. Jesus. If you're watching, by the way, and you find this remotely amusing, if you could drop a host, I would greatly appreciate it. Wait, I can keep jumping? There was a cash stash over there. Yeah, that wasn't going to happen in a million years. Why does this keep happening? Okay, we're near the uh, the get off point. Horn found. Press L3 to honk your horn. There's a pile of cash down there as well. Get back down there. Oh, that's the horn. Sounds like a child's laughter. Oh! 
Oh, that was bound to happen. Cash down there. Bruh. Here we go. <sighs> the big city. Want to the big city, kid? I have to make some of that big city money, see? Oh, we got a trophy! <laughs> I just wonder if this game had any trophies. I guess it does. Oh, god damn it. It's like a centimeter away from being repaired. There we go. Hmm. I suppose the trick of this is you have to just keep moving, because otherwise... Oof. <clears throat> hey, Drudders, how you doing? You've caught me playing... Roundabout, which is... Good God, it's disorienting. <laughs> Fun, though. Whoa! It's like bad acting on purpose meets sort of PS1 aesthetic with full motion video. Because why the hell not? Thank you so much for the host. Much appreciated. A new horn. Ah, we blew up. What's our new horn? Oh, it's a burp. Fantastic. What? Killed them before they could even finish their pre recorded dialogue. I'd feel bad if it weren't for the fact that I'm a sadist. Um, pick up Mickey the Mechanic. I knew you'd come around, kid. Look, hey, I've got the perfect plan. Just take me to Chinatown and I'll take care of the rest. Just just follow the arrow, Giorgio. Giorgio exhaled. That's the most Man, sound she's this ever kid made. Sometimes. We're always talking like we've known each other for, for forever, and yet we just, just hired us to drive once, and now we might do some jobs for him. Uh, uh. Just up here in the alley, kid. In the alley? How the hell are we going to get in an alley? Nice there one. There we go. You and me, ah. kid, we're going to go far. Stick with me, and this city will be yours inside of a week. Leo, just the man I need. Got a job that only your hands are good for. Bro. Leo's hands. Uh... Now, where's our girlfriend? There's a mission over here, and I'm like, is this where, is this where Beth is? Well, we'll never find out because I blew up. Time it right. Got Nay Cooper. Hi, Who's quick, Nay? Quick, quick, let's get going. All right, Nay. I've got to get to City Hall. It's a matter of life and death. Go. Oh, crikey. Hey, look out! It's a matter of life and death. We better get going. Well, maybe not death, but. And now that you mention it, not real life. What is she? What has she put us up for? What's happening? God damn it. It's where we where where we spawned we're blowing up. Turtle time. Turtle time with crush. But City Hall, that's one hundred percent right. Covered in ammo. Is that a dog? Is that a statue of a good doggo? Uh, 
Thanks so oh. much. <laughs> we did good today. We did a real good thing. Thanks. I think. I don't know what we did, but sure. Pick up Charles Maximilian. Ah, hello again, my revolving fellow. Same animation every time. There she is. I'm late <laughs> for my inspection of the Maximilian Tower's construction site. Chop chop. Um. We're jumping up buildings now. This yes, is what we're doing. This is coming along splendidly. Can't oh, even good see God. what that blasted mayor disliked. To the alley, Jeeves. Jeeves. <laughs> ah, Mr. Mayor, thank you for your discretion. This whole construction fatalities matter. I'm sure this fine suitcase. You got the line wrong. We'll set things straight. He got the line wrong. That's brilliant. Onwards, Jeeves. It's time for a well-earned vacation on my yacht. <laughs> I love how yeah. fucking dumb this West game is. West roundabout is so gaudy. I barely can stand passing through. Thank you kindly. We're on fire. I'll just wait here for my yacht. Tell you how. Yeah, you have to spin round and all that. All the time. Like you can't you're not in control of that, it just happens. That's by the pier. Like it's just constantly happening. Because you're Giorgio, the uh fa oh, here's our girlfriend. You're the famous hey. spinning limousine driver. Oh, I'm so happy you made it out to the city. As am I, Giorgio. Oh no, it's that supervillain again. Uh, is this that Ronaldo guy that you were telling me about? We're a silent protagonist, Wait, we didn't tell you about anything. How does he even hear what I'm saying? None of that's important right now, young mademoiselle. What is important is that your revolving amour is trespassing on Ronaldo country. Hey, Giorgio invented revolving. You think stealing it is going to achieve anything? You'll never be as good as Giorgio. Ho ho! I'm already the best. Ho oh, ho! Just try and beat me to upper roundabout. <laughs> this shall be uproarious. You it's got great. this, baby. Teach this Eiffel turkey a lesson. We've been talking about it. We think, it's, we think that all the acting is the devs and their friends, which kind of just makes it even more charming. <laughs> like, I kind of love it even more because it's a little bit naff. <gasps> He's throwing vehicles onto us. Damn it. Hey, Richard, I'm playing roundabout and going crazy. It's bloody brilliant. Oh. While the pedestrian right of way bars may be lax around the <gasps> destroying someone's car is tantamount to treason. Okay, it's nearly impossible to navigate this. Oh my god! I knew there'd be something over here worth getting. Cash Dash! It is! It's a PS4 title! Rag on. Because you got to sort of go with the spin. We made it here alive. <laughs> just, just hang in there, okay? Don't, don't do anything rash. We got this, okay? Look at me. We got this. I love that it's set in a limo, but they've clearly just hired like a normal car or borrowed one of the team's normal cars to, uh, to film in. Right, there's a mission here. Who's this? Pick up Danny Stevens. Hey, mate, thanks for the ride. I got a Bonza soccer game going up north. He okay. Uh huh. 
Yeah, mate. Up north, take me for a ride up to the park. Okay, he said Bonza. Cheers, mate. I was gonna check a Siki, but you know, I figure whatever. I may as well play around. He said he said Bonza, so Australian, but clearly a British member of the dev team. <laughs> yeah, just uh, chuck the ball in mother's gold over there. Cheers, mate. Get back here, you. God damn it. Okay, this is. Oh my god. Damn it. S suck it, League. Oh, good lord. That'll do it, right? That'll go in. Sweet as. Okay, mate. Get me back to my place up the hill. I've got an esky full of VB with my name on it. Sorry, what? And suddenly we're in like Super Mario. Oh my god, this is so weird. There's 52 cast members! I guarantee they're all the devs. All of them are devs. They've got to be. Maybe maybe an actor for Giorgio, because she's doing a hell of a lot Make with no dialogue and just her eyes. Dead set legend. She is. That was so weird. Oh. Not lo we've not unlocked any upgrades yet. Uh, I don't do model kits. No, I don't, I'm afraid. Once upon a time, it was something I was like, oh, maybe, but just finance-wise and, and time, free time, it became a thing that was never gonna, never gonna happen. I'm sorry. Is that a good doggo option? Maybe. Add space probably makes more sense. Like, show off who we are. Our horn is currently baby on board. That'll do. Spooky limo? Oh, it's like Ghostbusters uh, decal. The Ecto-1 style. Okay, that makes sense. Invisimobile. <laughs> Living room wallpaper. <laughs> okay. Um. Hey, you! Did you tell Nikki that we were going to be driving up here? Nope. I don't even talk. Yeah, oh, that's a different I animation. So. She's getting more coy. all day trying to figure out where you are. Come on, let's head back down to the city and find out what's up. I'll come with you. There's a back way you can take through the hills. I'll show you where to go. After we've died in a horrible explosion. After we've completely, savagely burnt up in a hard explosion, I'll tell you where to go. Oh. There I go. Damn it. I don't think anyone ever expected Bloodborne and uh, Roundabout to be mentioned in the same chat. Oh, good God. Okay. Oi. No, I need to, I need to revolve this way. Slow down, little lady. He's not getting you to do anything stupid, right? I know we're in all the beat you, but you don't need to stoop to his level. 
I've never played Bloodborne. I'm, I'm terrible at that kind of level of difficulty, in all honesty. Like, I suck when things get really difficult on a game. There's a stack of cash down there. I have to remember that next time we're in the area. Are those piggies? Those were piggies. Oh, that was awesome! <laughs> Next time drive like that and you'll absolutely destroy Ronaldo. <gasps> You're just ace, babe! Later, Gator. Okay, these guys are freaking adorable. <laughs> Okay, Mickey. Kid, my buddy Leo has just the thing to give you the edge on this Ronaldo creep. Okay. Look, kid, trust me on this. It's in a container at the docks. I promised you you'd go far with me, and with this, nothing can stop you. It's primo stuff. Real chauffeur material. What a weird thing to be saying in relation to chauffeuring. It's like, Over this there, is the kid, real deal. Crash through those gates. Oh! Oh! Okay! Uh, because she's the world's premier spinning limo driver. That's not me being facetious, that's literally the premise. Oh my god, this is actually quite difficult. Can we jump over them? Damn. find this crate anywhere. Try the other side of the docks. Damn it. <laughs> hey, Doctor Who! Uh, slow down. There we go. Uh. Try the limo. Oof. Finally, pull up near this crane. There we go. <laughs> I'm not bad. How are you doing? I'm just getting confused by this game, but at the same time, loving Good. it. Good. Leo better be right about this. Okay, kid. Get us out of here. I got work to do. Okay, that was the smoothest I've been whole game. Okay, buddy. Give me a few to figure out what to do with this magic dust. Once we get it in the system, you'll be unstoppable. <laughs> Oof. I am just going to very quickly... Daniel Panamaker and some weed. That is a very specific, uh, bizarre dream. I'll be back in just a moment. Uh, I literally just need to go and blow my nose. Because <laughs> I'm feeling a sniffle coming on and it's not right for you lot to listen to. So, uh, I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> Thank you. 
chair has his time and place, thank you very much. <laughs> oh. Bogey free. Less roly. Mo. What? Right. Is this a... Hey, Disco Sylvian. Weasel. I've got to get down at the memorial. The memorial? It's so happening they haven't even built it yet. Go south. Uh, okay. Just take the boats to the back end. My girl China's meets me there. Okay, we just drowned. That's perfectly normal. Oh, we have to keep moving with the boat. Like it moves, it moves regardless of where you're positioned on it. So you have to keep moving the joystick. Oh, that's so weird. Do you know what this is reminding me of more than anything? This is reminding me of uh, Disco's Duality version. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is reminding me more than anything of uh, Goat Simulator. It's the same kind of vibes. And I mean that in a real good way. Man, China is supposed to meet you here. Let's try the statue. Let's He's not here. Yeah, I can see I can't that. I believe that China don't care about Disco Sylvan. This is bogus. Take me back to the mainland, homie. Oh, there are um, plinths there that I keep smacking into. I wonder what I was crashing into. But you can clearly dig it. You're my new wingman. Giorgio and Disco Sylvan are gonna go far. Okay. Wait a minute. Pick up the supplier. That is a beard. Yeah, the animations are different Dude, now. Dude, the mechanic guy sent me. Uh, Mike? Michael? Mickey? Yeah, he wants to meet you at the top of the parking garage. Yeah, dude. Sweet. Parking garage. <laughs> Mick said something about meeting him at the top. So we're going to be jumping up the parking garage, okay? I can dig it. Dude, have you ever wondered what life would be like counterclockwise? Whoa, right? Stack of cash. Oh damn. Is she a robot? No, she's just she's just a silent protagonist. Classic video game silent protagonist. Check out. Definitely not a narc. All right, man. I got Pretty much Doctor Who. It's, it's it's in the vein of those games. They've made it. Take two of these. When did this come out? Like like a psychedelic unicorn blasting off into space, but wearing a limo suit. <laughs> yeah. Think about that, man. Enjoy. When did they make this? Roundabout. Disambiguation. Oh, it's 2014. So six years old. Um, oh, God, it's a... Oh, it's a, there's a PlayStation Vita port as well. Oh, that makes me happy. That means I'll be able to play it on my Vita too, because I would happily play this handheld. Okay. It's fun. It's fun and stupid, and I like it a lot. So I've got one more flashing gold mission. And it is... This way. First, let's get some repairs. There we go. Take the pills. Oh. Which horror game? There's many. I think you're probably thinking of Night Hello, Trap or something Giorgio. like that. 
I'm your pal Jeffrey. Make no bones about it, I'm excited to see you. It's got community vibe in terms of the tone, yeah. It's like community Tim and Eric had a baby. I'm already running behind in the roundabout triathlon. Quick, get me to the front of the pack. Uh, um. Sure, sentient skeleton. Sure, we need to get him. Oh, Just because I have no lungs doesn't mean I'm water. Go get him. Okay, inflate a boat for cars. Don't let Mother Nature stop you from making a passenger pickup. Allows water, a uh, travel on water, as well as diving in short bursts. We're about to go underwater. That's the kind of game we're playing. Okay. No, nope, we're just inflating, inflating, oh, floating, sure in floating. Driving me. I don't have the bones for swimming. What? I can't make the same joke twice? Tough crowd. So basically now she's high and hallucinating a talking skeleton. Oh my. My <laughs> jangly legs are still so many places behind. Time to murder <laughs> Excuse me. But please do run everyone over. Okay. Oh, this is trippy as sin. Giorgio, the joy of competing is the real reward. Take me to the finish. Uh, there's a talking skeleton making me commit murder in my dreams. I buy that property. Uh, <laughs> Yes, Giorgio, you did it! Oh my You're god! The best. Giorgio is number one! USA! USA! Wait, where, where am I going? Oh boy. I love how he's a Halloween decoration, like he's got the hanging thing on his head and everything. Oh, this is so fucking weird. Right, Mickey, you've got some explaining to wow, do, pal. Wow, kid, that stunt you pulled at the triathlon is all over the news. I've got one last thing for you before you take him on again. We can't beat him on the road, but I have something better than roads. Head to the plaza. What about Mickey's enabling our supposed competition? Now, climb up that art thing. Statue? Whatever. Yeah. Finally, yeah. Modern art has a use. Yeah. Here's yeah. the trick. Boost and jump onto that other building. How do I do that? Ah, that's it, kid. Buildings, who even needs roads anymore? Right. How do we boost? How do we boost? I, I didn't think there was a boost button. boost button? I'm forgetting about a button? There's not one that I'm aware of. Okay, drop me off in that alley over there. Alley? There's a parking lot. <laughs> Kid, listen closely. Take no prisoners on this punk. Whatever you have to do, do it. Just focus off the road and use that twist of yours to get the upper hand. You got this, champ. Finish him. Finish him. Okay. 
Okay. Knew there'd be some hidden cash back there. There's a horn over it. We found a horn. I want my turtle power back. <laughs> turtle power. They're the world's most fearsome fighting team. They're heroes in a half shell and they're green. Guys, right, so we need to get up that way somehow. How do I get up that way then? Wait a minute, I'm actually confused how to get up that way. Uh oh, there's a road down far left. Okay, I guess I need to take that route. Who should play TMNT in another movie? Well Suits, surely. That's what I want to play, the Ninja Turtles. Animatronic costumes. Or even better, just animated film. 2007's TMNT was alright. back here and that's the most disgusting sound I've ever heard okay Oof. oh voice actors ah so you mean um We'll go on, who, who, who would you want? I mean, myself, I'd, I'd want voice actors, not big names. But I know that's not the Hollywood climate we're in, unfortunately. Yay, it's picking up Beth. Hey, uh, Giorgio, can we go somewhere private to chat? I know a place. Just follow my directions. This place is super secluded. Just cut through the woods up here. I mean, we could just chat in, in my limo. But she's my girlfriend, so let's see what she's suggesting. Why are there so many, like, wild pigs? Oh, that's a hare. Oh, make out point, hey, basically. So, <laughs> I saw you in the paper. You looked super strung out. Like, you've been taking some serious, um... <sighs> She's not wrong, Giorgio. You were doped AF. You were seeing a talking skeleton. You could cut the silence with a knife. Giorgio, just pull over here. Would you watch where you're going? Look, you... You mean a lot to me. But I can't stop worrying. Thanks for the host of Sildrums. Flat coffin. I, I just can't take that kind of stress every time you drive. Beat Ronaldo, but beat him safely. <laughs> Don't stoop to his level. Come home to me alive, okay? Got a love a silent protagonist. Okay, so the next mission's down left. Mm, it's that big old island of cash. Damn it. What's right? Ooh. 
like I said, that big old island of cash. Yes, get it. Oh, that was the most adorably tame voice acting I've ever heard. Watch where you're going. Okay. Oh. Giorgio go boom. That, that little... That little leaping sound sounds like the, uh... The, uh, running out of supplies noise in, uh... Persona 4. Here we go. Is there anything nearby we can collect? Oh, I can see. Challenge Ronaldo! Ho ho ho! You are back for, I believe you Americans call it double or nothing. How do you know she's American? You're she gonna never feed speaks. This clown, and we're gonna be right there with you. Let's go, kid. Your yeah. petit fun club can't help you now. This time, loser has to stop driving forever. Let's go, go Giorgio! Giorgio. <laughs> God, I love this. Come on, Giorgio. Oh, you're even slower than last time. <gasps> shit, we just blew up. Shit, we just blew up. Oh shit, we just blew up. Oh shit, we just blew up. But not in the social media way. In the modern parlance, we literally blew up. Shit, some the mechanics don't bring us all the way back down the hill. Thank you. Giorgio, he'll beat you on the roads, remember? Take him off road. Head to the mountain. Trying to. That's under construction! Giorgio, be careful! Okay, now. So we can't leap where there are red cars because the risk is too big. The signs are bubbles. How the frick are we meant to do this? I'm not sure if we can get through this. Come on, Giorgio, don't be a prude. It's your future you're talking about here. Fudge knuckles, fudge knuckles, knuckles made of fudge. Knuckles made of fudge. Knuckles made of fudge. Knuckles made of fudge. You may be fast, Giorgio Manos, but I will always be the best. <laughs> <laughs> Just like stock graphic of the radio printed out and stuck to the dashboard. Giorgio, look out! <laughs> I love how the cars aren't even limos in the stock footage. It's brilliant. <laughs> Ask Giorgio about the incident these days, and oh. you get a fistful of blank stares. She's a silent protagonist. Destroying a man's car is tantamount to treason. Yes, even if the guy behind the wheel is, and let's be, be honest, honest here, a, a huge, huge jerk. Mickey Lee. Some was French tough. guy died. That, however, hit the hardest. One thing is for sure, oh. with everything collapsing, Giorgio did the one thing Giorgio does best. Drive. Oh no! Oh no! Abandoned shack. We could buy it for $30. We have nothing, so. We need to get a job. So let's pick up Jeffrey the Skeleton, shall we? A wise oh. man once said that time oh. heals all wounds. She has a beard. But he never specified how long you needed. She has a beard. That's the trouble with wise men. They're never specific enough to be useful. And she's pulling it off. Hello, George. Oh. You're looking worse than me these days, and I'm a skeleton. <sighs> Giorgio, 
you need to move on. Yes, maybe six months ago, you killed a man with your driving. And maybe the only person you ever loved left you forever. And yes, you're probably going to freeze to death in these mountains and become Giorgio the Skeleton. <coughs> but you're out of Jeffrey Medicine, Giorgio. I can't stand to see my pal Giorgio so down and unable to get more Jeffrey medicine. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> think of Beth. I bet your number one lady would love to hang out with your number one skeleton. You two were great together. Yeah, do it for Beth. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. That's the spirit, pal. This is amazing. I am blown away by how much I'm enjoying this. Just like it's so riding a stupid. bicycle. We'll have you back on your feet in no time. Step one, get a job. Step two, clean suit. Step three, get back back. It'll be great. And after that, we'll find Ronaldo and drink mimosas and reminisce about how you kill. Oh. Too soon. Got it. No, I need to... There we go. Whoop. Oh, damn it, I tried to do the slowdown thing and it wasn't working. Oh, s great scoot. Where are we then, like, geographically? You did it! <laughs> First step is always the hardest. Yeah, we'll work on that whole thing later. For now, go <laughs> find us some farm work. Do hurry, I'd like my bones back soon. Thanks, Jeffrey the Skeleton. You're my favorite skeleton. What the hell is happening? Farmer Pope. Don't get much call for you city folk over here on Pope Farms. That's for sure. Say, your twirl and my and Tom Thory might actually come in handy around these parts. How about you go take in the crops for me? Oh, no. I don't go in for modern machinery. You just go out in my fields and do your techno spinnery. I'll radio you if I need anything, okay? All right. Get over them there crops. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the thing. Now just do it till you fill up all week. Oh my God, that's those, those glowing things are not like, hey, yeah, spin here. They are giant pieces of machinery that will kill us if we touch them. close to those ones near the fan. Oh, damn. Those constantly regenerating crops. What are they like? Damn! It's actually really hard to maneuver, there's so much stuff! Oh 
Great work. We just caught that off at the silos, and we're going to call this a day. Just the silo. There we go. Nice. That's some real quality threshing. Good work, you hear? God damn it, I got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Maneuver around the tree. Go over here and shave off my beard. Yeah, that's a good day's work right there. Thank you. I haven't you. seen a day like that since 1954. Now, you see, back then, kids knew the value of a good day's work. Nowadays, you're more likely to see them lollygagging at the disco techie or lounging around at the God Forsaken Mall. Well, you know, I... I don't want to talk your old ear off. You clearly got some place to be. Hey, Dad. Thanks again. Now, uh, what what'd you say your name was? Giorgio George Manos. <laughs> and this time, it was personal. <laughs> okay. So how much money have we got? How much money did we get from that job? Uh, oh, okay, so we could buy that shack. Ah, uh, some money hidden away in here. That helps too. Huh. Pick up the priest. Well, is it the guy from child. before? It is. I thought I'd be lost out here forever. Oh, I moved congregations. I'm a countryman now. My audience is awaiting me. Head to the church. Okay. So he found a new place. Oh, yeah, no, that was never going to end well. Oh no, he's not going to take the drugs, is he? He's taking the drugs. Get it to the graveyard. He's taking the drugs. He's taking the drugs. The priest has taken the drugs. God damn it! This is for one to navigate. Oh my god. Let's see if we can work our way around that alleyway, that, that, that archway. Oof. Okay. Uh. A sick jump, bro. Damn. Damn it all, Pelinor. Right. Oof. It's close. Why is he taking us on such a, a roustabout of a ruin? Quick! Bury all. The skeleton. The power of the Almighty compels him. Oh, right. Like you'd bury all the skeletons. Oh, right. We've got to put some coffins in graves. Okay. Oh, I'll blow up. <laughs> Is that counted, I guess? This is like with the football game before, we've just got to try and, try and make it work. Uh. Mm -hmm. 
Where's the gravesite? <laughs> oh, down here. Okay, okay the drugs have uh, sent the priest on a bit of a trip. As you can imagine. Oh, good lord. Okay, we need to get one from up here, ideally. Uh... There we go. Fine, <laughs> fine, okay. I'll go. See you soon, Giorgio. See you even sooner, priest. <laughs> Yes, yes. I'm just going to take a long constitutional. Many thanks to you, I think. Damn it. Damn it. I'm trying to leap onto the roof, but I couldn't quite get it right. There we go. Oh, I can't buy it. <laughs> well, we got a sick jump token, bro. Oh, yeah, I was doomed from the start there. Uh, There's a place called the Biscuit Bin. Pick up not Mickey the Mechanic. Why, hello there, limousine driver. What oh. a pleasure it is to meet you for the first time. Wait a minute. I appear to have lost my important business things. Yes, my important business things are everywhere. They're probably even on the rooftops by now. But I doubt a normal limousine driver like you could get them. What's he playing at? What is he playing at? Oh, some cash in there. Damn. Explode here. Ah, so we can't use the archways to balance. We need to get down, then get back up. You could have done Wednesday night. No, I couldn't. I was knackered. Yes, I'm picking up all my business things. Don't look back here. Damn, there's some cash on there. I'll try and get that before we move to the next rooftop. Squished. Squishy, squish, squished. Okay, I've seen enough. I mean, uh, I, I'm done with business. Take me to the junkyard at the edge of town. On to the ropes. Oh my god. Stream for 264 hours. Add it. I, I mean this is a legitimate question now. Do you want me to die? I'm very confused. Whenever you set me a challenge, it's something that would kill someone. I have a secret, kid. It's me, your old pal Mickey. I was just Mickey. testing to make sure it was you. Look, kid. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push you. I've been thinking about it. 
and you should drive the way you want to drive. There's more to life than revolving. See, I, I saved this from the shop back in the city. Go make a clean Is it her and Beth? And, well, don't make the same mistakes I did. I can't believe that was Mickey. I had no idea. Pick up the date couple. Hi. Okay. I have a surprise. Oh, it's from the guys from the first town. The last few months have been the happiest of my life. Oh. Will you marry me? Yes. Of course. Yes. Okay. So the next surprise. We're getting married now. On our way to our honeymoon. To the airport, Giorgio. What? Uh, okay. Let's go, Giorgio. <laughs> I love how everyone's performance is so ropey. It's so charming. I love it. They know full well what they're doing here. Uh, who's going to marry us? Well, I will, of course. I am the town preacher, after all. Let us proceed. Do you take this kid to be your husband, even if he's lame, or pathetic, or he is a jerk for the rest of time? I do. It's the same thing, but reverse for this wonderful lady you're about to marry. I do. This priest has a real hang-up over marrying people, doesn't he? Like, he's very judgmental over the, the men in the couple. It's quite funny. Okay, just dealing with planes now. We're just fighting planes. I now pronounce you Oof. husband and wife. You may now kiss upon each other. Kiss upon each other. Oh my. She looks just like <laughs> you. Wow. We wrapped the whole life milestone thing up nice and smart. Thanks, Giorgio. Let's go to Hawaii to celebrate. So they kissed Yay! and then a baby was just given to them. <laughs> that is brilliant. Oh, this game's so weird. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's just bizarre. And we found a new horn. <laughs> just leaping over stuff. Oh! Charles Maximilian's back! Fair twirling friend. Why, yes, it is I again. Charles Maximilian. I am just famished. But I can't leave just yet in my private jet, thanks to this ridiculous air show. Care to bring me some around about the finest air catering? <laughs> sure. Thank you, my city savior. Pick me up the most expensive sandwich you can find. Way, you say? Now that sounds like the sandwich of king. Bring that back to me. Post -taste. The most expensive sandwich we can find. Okay. The roundabout air show is renowned for the amazing ballet of a woman now yes. Unfortunately for Giorgio, the air part was an inspiration. Right, so what's the best way to revolve with them? Oh, there's no sort of like obvious to me anyway, my stupidity. Oh, I'm trying to revolve with them, but I'm not sure how. Maybe it's just a case of leaping at the right time to get over them. Oh my god, I'll just get trapped between the gates and blow up. That's an option too. Oh, yeah, that didn't end well for anyone. So don't leap at the fence. Oh 
Oh my god, how do you get around the planes, man? What's the trick? Okay, around the fr oh, around the front end of them, there's a really slim gap. You need to time it just right. Oh, so not like that. Oh my god. Did you get a trophy for exploding a billion times? Because I feel like I've definitely earned that right now. Oof. How the fudging hell. Alright, there we go. Huh. Kill Giorgio. Oh, there we go. Oof. Looks like. Oh, her? I haven't seen her anywhere. Sorry. Anyways, time for me to jet. Hip, hip, and away to the airplane, Jeeves. Hip, hip, and away. might be a good spot to leave it for today um because we said two hours we've just gone over two hours i'll be back tonight don't know what i'm streaming yet still not decided so it could be any old bloody thing but um yeah tonight from 10 p.m hope to see you there might just be chatting I might just chat shit and have a drink have a good afternoon take care of yourselves and if we see who's online right now I'm going to send you over to the lovely Inel. Please give him my love. Now we'll catch you all later.